Hi, in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Visual Studio 2022 to create a simple X unit test. Um, all I'm going to do in this video is build the test and demonstrate how to run the test. In subsequent videos, I will demonstrate how to build a unit test for a class and test an ASP.NET web application. Okay, so I'm in Visual Studio 2022. You're going to click Create a New Project. Pick the language you wish to code against, all platforms, and test. A variety of choices appear, all of which are good. I'm just choosing XUnit today. Give it a name. Notice how it starts with test. You should call it test whatever the project is you're testing. Since this is just my video, I'm going to call it test video. But if this were, say, a database connection, I'd say test database. If this were a web service, I would say test web service. Put it somewhere where you want it to be. Pick your framework. Net6 is good because it's going to have at least a three-year support. Framework also depends on what framework your project's using. If you're using .NET 5, obviously pick .NET 5. Uh, wait for a moment while Visual Studio chugs. Got to see the earth there for seconds. Beautiful. All right, we're in a basic test. If you've tested before, you know how these things work. You write your test inside of a function, and the test will assert some value of truth. So in this case, I have a fact and then a test. The fact becomes the test. In XUnit, you have two basic ways to group tests. Facts are single tests. Theories are a bunch of tests. Um, if you're a JUnit person, theory is like a parameterized test where you can pass in values into the method. I will do that um, in a later video. So we have here a simple fact. I'm going to set something to check. So I'm going to change the name. You should name your test what it's doing. So this test should pass. So I have an assert statement. If you notice to do an assert, I have a lot of things I can pick from there. So false, true, and equal are the biggies, and then a variety of other methods. All right, so we save a thing. To run this, you go up to your test menu. There are other ways. I'm going to go to test menu and do run all tests. And this is your run, your test control. Talk this down here if it'll let me. It took theoretically two milliseconds to run the test. And you stand down, this test should pass. Passed. Let's see what happens when it fails. My Test name is listed here. My optional message is here. And it says expected false, actual true. For a second test. So I'm going to create a test that an integer is 42. Uh, the way that XUnit sets up its test is you have three sections in your test. That section will be an arrange, assert, I'm sorry, arrange, act, and cert. In the arrange, you set up your test environment. This is where you create classes, open up databases, or mock databases. This is where you build whatever the environment is given the test. The act is you perform the act to be tested. And you're also going to hear the gather 
the actual answer. Then down here, we're going to check to see the act, expect is actual. So, so I'm going to say it's expected equal 42. So I'm expecting to get 42. And let's pretend that I got some method that's returning my answer back. So I've really, in reality, you'd have some method here, not just some math. In my next video, I'll demonstrate this method there. And now we check to see if it's true. Are equal, expected, actual. I like using these variables expected and actual because this is what I want to get, this is what I am getting, so I have nice self documenting code. So I'm going to run my test. So I see one passed, one fails. That's fine because that's what I expect. You also notice that they run in different order. You really can't easily control the order that your tests run. The tests are designed to be independent from one another. If you have a situation where you need stuff to run before everything else and after everything else, there are ways to pull that off. But this is, in general, how tests are set up. Um, lastly, suppose you want to skip a test. You know, Like this here, this is just a nice little silly test you know you know that this test is going to run or maybe you have a smoke test that just proves that okay yeah everything's alive you want to skip that test you do so here by you skip equal some reason and give it some reason run your test You see how this is passed has the warning sign it was skipped but this integer is 42 passes all right so we created a simple x unit test we demonstrated facts and we demonstrated two asserts and I showed you how to pause them um, in future videos I'm going to do more of these thank you good luck